Uh, hey guys, this is going to be a mashup video, kind of like, uh, I don't know, three or four different subjects probably, uh, if I can get that far into it. Uh, and it really hurts, it hurts me to see somebody telling the truth and people fighting it. And I know why people fight it, because they don't want to admit that they've been tricked. They don't want to admit that uh, what they're doing is counterproductive. But it is. This this whole water challenge is a joke. And it is what it is. It's exactly what this guy said it is. It's about people who want to see people do stupid stuff. And dumping water on your head and writing a check is not going to solve anything. Money itself has never solved anything. In fact, you could say the opposite. That as long as there are people who profit from disease there's going to be disease and there's going to be more disease than there would be if people didn't profit from it um, I was going to do this video a long time ago in fact it's probably still on my background I just never uploaded it speaking about the American Cancer Society and uh, you know if you go to Wikipedia American Cancer Society you'll find this part in the article where the Arizona chapter used about 95% of its donation for paying salaries. It's a 22 to 1 ratio to actual money spent on the cause. There is always somebody on the top who's profiting from disease. And as long as people profit from disease, you're going to see more disease. If you take away their profits, they have no reason to further their disease. Uh, well, some people do, like Bill Gates, uh, who is openly out for population control, and yet they're donating to ALS. Hmm, that should raise a red flag. Uh, George Bush donating to ALS. I mean, that should raise a red flag. We know what these people are and who these people are. The water challenge itself was not necessarily uh, specifically for ALS. It was supposed to be for charity in general. Now what the media has done is funneled all of this donation money into one organization. They have made it so that the water challenge itself is no longer about uh, a personal charity of choice, which is what it was. I, I can bring up hundreds of videos from weeks ago of people donating to different organizations other than ALS. It wasn't specifically for ALS. The person who originated this was donating to ALS, but it was not the ALS water challenge or ice water challenge. It was just a way for raising awareness for your cause and donating money to it. Um, but that being said, you can clearly see that the media has uh, pretty much confiscated this whole movement and they are taking all the funds and pushing it into one direction and my whole thing is is writing a check and sending money has never solved anything it's not going to solve anything um, if, if you want my personal opinion you would be doing society a better uh, justice if you made 50 sandwiches and handed them out to homeless people. Uh, make that a challenge, you know? Actually making a difference in your community and not just writing a check and thinking that, okay, I stroked a check, the problem goes away. Because it doesn't. And moving on, the uh, American Cancer Society was established in the same year as the Federal Reserve and supposedly by the same people so yeah yeah you might want to do some research on that I can't find I've been looking hard I can't find any hard evidence that David Rockefeller was the one that started the American Cancer Society but there are a lot of articles about that particular thing I can't find where that source came from uh, so I'm not gonna say for hundred percent that that's where it's coming from but there's a good uh, a good indication that that is where it's coming from and uh, you know I was gonna do this I uh, actually did this already in another video but I never uploaded it 
talking about cancer and the origins of cancer and where it's coming from. I believe that, personally, I believe that there is multiple ways to get cancer. There's not just one way. And there are multiple different forms of cancer, obviously. That's true. Um, hereditary, uh, genetic, uh, radiation, nutrition, and the one that most people don't know about is a virus, uh, an actual virus that causes cancer. And they've known about this forever, that there are viruses out there that cause cancer. HPV is one of them um, that actually causes uh, ovarian cancer, I believe, or uterine cancer. So they know that there's multiple ways to get this, and I'm pretty sure that all these nuclear tests uh, back in the day didn't help at all. Um, but the point I want to make is that there's not just one way to get cancer, and I believe fully that the reason why most people get cancer, uh, probably 90% of the cancers out there are a d direct result of a lack of nutrition your body is constantly rebuilding itself constantly uh, cells are dying uh, you know every one of us has died a hundred percent already every cell in our body has been replaced so when you have to rebuild your cells and you don't have the proper tools to do that it's like throwing a wrench in the gears and they know uh, the FDA knows that they are uh, cutting out nutrition for people. They are, you know, the, the World Health Organization, the Agenda 21, they know that the lack of nutrition or the lack of certain nutrients is why your body cannot rebuild cells properly. And they go on to repeat improper cells and improper cells grow and grow and grow. And you end up with a tumor, a cancerous tumor they know that the only reason why this is happening is because of our nutrition or the majority of this is happening because of nutrition it's causing cell damage because we can't rebuild properly uh, but that being said what most people don't understand is that cancer can be a virus which means they can weaponize it which means they can increase their profits very easily by spreading it and this slipped out on the Simpsons and I am going to go and find that for you guys right now because as we all know the Simpsons likes to slip up every now and then and give us information that we probably shouldn't have gotten but most people are too uh, comatose to actually understand what's being said in this scene uh, Mr. Burns is uh, at the doctor's office and the doctor is telling him that he is the sickest man alive and the only reason why he is still alive is because all of his diseases are in perfect balance. You see? And these are oversized novelty germs. Uh, that's influenza, that's bronchitis, and this cute little cuddle bug is pancreatic cancer. <laughs> novelty germs. Uh, that's influenza, that's bronchitis, and this cute little cuddle bug is pancreatic cancer. <laughs> so, once again, the Simpsons uh, subliminally is telling you uh, what's going on. I think I'm going to end this video here. I do have other things I want to talk about, but I'll probably just save that for another video. Thanks for listening, guys. They're all covered with filthy germs, aren't they, Smithers? Why, what do you mean, sir?